Well, it is the end of January, and I cannot believe it, but we are talking about gardens. Um, we have done some work, of course, in here. The permaculture chickens will take over right here. But in order to plant a lot of this, we've got to start with seedlings. So we're going to go ahead and get some compost in, get some topsoil. Well, we'll be working in the greenhouse today. So our goal is to plant some some onions, some garlic, and also uh, get ready for potatoes in the in the raised beds that you saw us build a few videos ago. But we really need to get broccoli seedlings started. We need to get some cabbage started. We need to get some lettuce started. All those things we've already got planted. But as we get ready to go into uh, early spring, um, we still have a chance to grow some. And broccoli is our favorite. Uh, and of course onions too. So we're going to do that today. Join us. Welcome to the Max. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, again, we're going to be working with some compost, some topsoil, uh, building some soil blocks, and getting ready to plant early spring crops. Um, here we had to start a little early, probably more than, than most because we're in zone 8B. So we have to get stuff started if we want to see it grow before insects and things like that and hot weather starts really getting in there. So we're going to work and do that today. As you saw yesterday's video, we've got the chickens working in the... Uh, the area right in front of the pigs the pigs will move in there hopefully over the next few days but really the main thing is we just need to get some stuff started uh, in the greenhouse and uh get ready for gardening season crazy to start that at the end of january Stop and look, look at this. Look how much they've tore up this ground around here, which is the purpose. They're actually bedding themselves next to the blueberries. I don't want them to tear into them, but geez, that's pretty unique. I've never seen that. Getting all the bugs out, I guess. But they're doing a wonderful job. I want this all basically to be dirt anyway. Now tell me this, this hen is not an outlaw. She's got her buddies over here in the permaculture net. She's got her buddies over here in the, the laying net. <laughs> and she's right between them. She's an outlaw. Hanging out. Every time I try to put her in one, she'll jump out. I'll put her in this one, she'll jump out. So I might as well just leave her out. Well, before we uh, start on our January and February garden season, we gotta get the cows out of the rye grass. Let them come back and join Josie. I don't think they want to come out. They're happy where they're at. They probably are, but they need to come out. We're going. We're trying to manage their rye grass, and uh, that's why we didn't put water over here and didn't feed them to get them over here. That way, they'll hopefully come back over here and want the water and be uh, easy to get back in. What do you think? You think we can do it? Well, you pass the little ding ring, you gotta watch right there. Who? Josie. <laughs> I think I won. No, I won. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, you can go around and get that shovel that's laying on the ground by the back of the basketball. Uh -uh. All right, you want to fill it up? 
It's a little white shovel. All right, now put that in here. No, just do it just like what you got. That's fine. You All right, that's more? good. And dump some. Good job. All right, so what are you working on? I am cleaning up. These are buckets that we had um, tomatoes in last year. So I'm cleaning those up, dumping the old soil in the compost. I'm going to clean these buckets out good so we can keep some tomatoes in. Well, that one's kind of busted. I don't know if we're going to keep it on. That little crack is fine. You can oh, grow you... something in anything as That's long right. as it's got good drainage. Look at all these pots. We got a, tons of pots. That's good. Tons of pots. And then we buy some, of course, for our aloe. Look at all our aloe. It's doing great. So we got, okay, so we got our soil start. This is three parts, basically a top soil, which is a more sandy bark. And then we added this uh, Jiffy Natural and Organic Seed started. It is OMRI listed. Uh, if you're looking for organic quality on anything dealing with garden, you can look for that OMRI listed sign that shows that it is good quality stuff and also is organic. So that's what we did for the seed starter. As you look, we use a uh, Canadian peat moss. It's also from Fertilone. It is OMRI listed as well. So we mix it in too. It helps with the, the soil and the, the composition of it and also the decomposition of it. And of course with moisture. So a great quality, quality, quality seed start that we have here. Very, very fertile. We've actually got some compost in here. So good, good, good stuff to actually do our soil blocks and then also use our seed trays. Uh, today is all about broccoli and, and some of the cool crops things. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, hitting that up in just a few seconds uh, when mommy gets back. I think it's good quality and then we added fertilizer in it and we probably missed, made a mistake because everything got leggy last time. So we're not gonna add any yeah. fertilizer to it this time um, and just see if it can just grow good in it, huh? All right, so we got the seed trays done for the plastics there. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the soil blocks. Mommy, you did, yeah, you got the soil block maker. All right, so we got the soil blocks. So we're gonna do some in the seed trays and then we'll do some in just soil block. We'll kind of see which one does better. Uh, we've got, we mixed some of the, it got a little too wet. So what we did is mix some, some of the organic hummus and manure with it. That way it helped break it down a little bit. And that way it, uh, it'll pack good, but it won't be too moist uh, for the seedlings. We are spring cleaning in January because the baby is asleep and that's really bad. So it is a greenhouse and it does get nasty, but I'm going to try to get some buckets for just my tools. I'm going to try to keep a place where just my buckets go and we are just kind of cleaning up because we have not done so since last spring. So it's very much needed just to kind of get some organization and some dirt out of here, some leaves out of here, and um, that way we can focus on getting ready for the scrubbing season. Mama, look who works outside of the house. What do you have? We have mixed poppies, whatever that is, and whatever this is. We're going to plant those and keep those in the greenhouse. No, we're not. Yes, we do have to until they get ready to go outside. Do you think we have enough seed? Um, I think Dude, we have a problem. And that's summer. not including this is slammed full. And that's not all <laughs> of the seed that this is a major portion but i still have some inside we still have a ton of pumpkins a ton of deal and no organization to the seeds do we have a problem i think we have a little problem but if we can get potatoes growing and onions growing my kids will be very happy because we love potatoes and onions 
You love onions? I love potatoes. Why you got a Christmas shirt on? It's my own shirt. That's how you roll them on. <laughs> Holy moly! Let's do a quick walkthrough of what we have going on. Starting right here at the lemons and oranges. So walk us through, Mrs. Matt. Hold on. YouTubers, should we hold on? I don't think Those so. Those are my glass jars that I did cuttings in. Alright, let's start right here. We're running out of space. So are we doing a tour or are we just showing what we Just showing what we planted, but we'll start from this area. So we know we got the citrus. We know that. I am, before I go in, this is going in a bigger pot. <clears throat> it's been in this pot for two full years. So it's time to be transplanted into a bigger space. So these are some strawberries that I transplanted. Um, they need some water very bad. But they are doing okay. But they are doing okay. Yeah. yeah. See, this one's already got uh, some blooms on it. Mm -hmm. Some of them just need some water and some food. This one I'm a little worried about, but... It's dead. Um, well, we're going to watch it and see. Um, we have red, uh, regular red tomatoes here, like your beef steaks, in these four pots. This is a Moringa times four, one, two, three, four. And in another video, we'll talk about the benefits of Moringa. Cone flowers. And that video pea. too. One, two, three, four, pigeon pea. This is um, red peppers, pink tomatoes. These are heirlooms here. And all of these that I'm putting in here, they are going to stay in the greenhouse. That's right. We'll plant hundreds of tomatoes, but in not... The, yeah, and raised yeah. beds, gardens, they'll be everywhere. But I plant, I'm, I'm, I'm planting some now. So hopefully like May and tomato. June, I will already be getting tomatoes. Maybe even before then. We'll see. So these are heirloom pink tomatoes times three. Marigolds, marigolds, and... Look at these strawberries. You got tons of blooms on there. Hold on, let me look at the strawberry. Look at all these babies. I know they look good, don't they, boy? Yeah, you know, they 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 I fed that granulated compost and it has done amazing. Alright, over here. I just transplanted my rosemary and it is looking really good. Mm -hmm. I planted some salt parsley from seed. This is a katook plant. We'll talk about the benefit now, of that later. This on. has to go inside. Um until it starts to germinate and then I'll bring it back out. This is marigold. I'm still waiting on these little bad boys to go to seed so I'll have more seed. This is sage that I'm starting from seed. This is a tree that was given to me at a farmer's market and um, it, it, it died this winter but I don't want to say died. It went dormant but it is growing back flowers all of this is stuff that i've already had we're not going to talk about my pawpaw plant well it is growing but you I think can one of the kids, see you can see some i think one of the kids wanted to know where pawpaw was and see you do have some sprouting i don't know if that's what was already sprouting in the package uh i don't know see there was there's some green there leave it alone so i'm just kind of babying this thing Sage already had, parsley already had, lavender already had. Stuff that we've not planted yet. This is waiting to be planted, waiting to be planted. This is our workstation. Um, this is Hulse Tools, uh, Butterhead Lettuce. This, this, this is a Magic Broccoli, Hulse Tools. Which is a heat tolerant broccoli, by the way. Hulse Tools. 
Um, this is uh, Baker Creek lettuce here in both of these. This is local lettuce that we have purchased. This is local lettuce and that's local lettuce. And then this back here. Local broccoli right here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, local broccoli. This is Hoss Tools. Um, I can't read my sweet own onion. handwriting. Yeah, sweet onion, sweet onion, yeah. So we still have to get what stuff watered. Y'all can see that my aloe is still doing great from dividing out. We still have all of these onions. We will actually plant about 300 bulbs or 400 bulbs of onions. So. And we love onion. Onion is like my, one of my favorite things. So Not raw. We like to cook with Not it. Not raw. I do like to cook. I'm going to get, I've never had much luck with these. So if for anybody that plants the strawberry bulbs has any suggestions, please drop those in the comments. But we're going to, this will be my third year to try. So we're going to drop these in some containers. Um, I still have a few other peppers on the plant, a few other things. So we're trying to wind it up. I told Colby a while ago, I was like, this is just like, ah, this is like heaven out here. It is, it's, it's fun. Um, it's something that we both love to do. So we've had a really good day and we're going to finish up.